Hi, my name is Danny Shields, and today I'm going to be walking you through my magnetic coil powered pendulum. This is the original sketch of the design. The batteries provide an electromotive force, which, when the relay is closed, creates a current in the wire. This current goes through the coil and creates a magnetic field, pushing the magnet away. Now, the controller controls whether the relay is open or closed, and what is input is a square wave. On the high peaks, it closes the relay and allows the current to flow. This is a demonstration of the device with the magnet starting in a static position. We can see that the changing current in the coil caused by the opening and closing of the relay creates a dynamic magnetic field. This dynamic magnetic field pushes the magnet at regular intervals, creating the pendular motion of the magnet observed. Our experimental setup relates to course using watt savard law. This can predict the direction of the magnetic field. Looking at the coil, we know the direction of current in the coil is in the counterclockwise direction. This gives us our L vector. We know the R vector is towards the center of the circle. Now if we do L cross R, it gives us the direction of the magnetic field coming out of the page. Now if we relate this to our setup, we have our permanent magnet with the south pole facing our coil of wire. Now we know the direction of current in the coil and thus we know the magnetic field is pointing in this direction. As these are rotational fields, we will draw them as such. And we know also the bar magnet, the field lines always travel from north to south. Now if we also look at this, we can see the field, we know the field lines travel north to south, so if we think of the coil like a bar magnet, this would be our south pole. Since these are like poles, they're going to repel, creating a force on the permanent magnet, pushing it away from the coil. The dynamic nature of the field can be observed with a compass. The north direction on the compass points to the south pole of a magnetic source. Due to the dynamic nature of the coil's magnetic field, the compass can be observed to oscillate between the two magnetic field sources. We've hooked up the coil in series with a 47 ohm resistor. And we've put a 5 volt supply into it using the analog discovery module. This is clearly a voltage divider, so I put 5 volts in and measured the output to be 4.75 volts across the 47 ohm resistor. Now putting that into our equation, we can solve for the resistance of the coil. And plugging that in gives the resistance of the coil to be approximately 2.44737 ohms. Using Ohm's law and knowing the voltage across the AA battery powering the circuit is 1.411 volts and we know our resistance of the coil therefore we determine that the current flowing through the coil is approximately 0.57 amps. To maximize the magnetic field in the coil, 100 turns of wire were used in the coil in order to get 100 times multiplication of the magnetic flux. Finally, the given formula was used to determine the frequency of oscillations.